Hello and welcome to another episode of Pony 411. This is episode 281 for the week of October 27th, 2019. I am Alcatraz and joining me as usual is Nemesis. We're not dead. We're not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> oh, Stone Cold in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you will be soon. <laughs> yes, Monty Python, always fun. Ah, uh, these past couple weeks have been eventful in some ways. Yes, fun. <laughs> some ways in literally fun, but other ways in the fun quotation <laughs> marks. Heavy air quotes around that, especially on the global scene. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> on a less global scene, <laughs> played through the Halo campaign again, and once again disappointed myself with the campaigns. <laughs> Ah, uh, what can you do? Get good. <laughs> <laughs> the story just... Uh, so much potential and so much squandering at the end. I saw Zombieland double tap. Yeah. How that was, was fun. that? That was fun. Um, If you like the first one, you'll like this one. Otherwise, it's like... It's, it is pretty much more of the same. That's not necessarily a criticism. Just this is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if you like the first one, you'll probably like this one. Yeah. And then we had the Star Wars... Woo! So, yeah. Trailer dropped and tickets, tickets. are Got went on my style. tickets for premiere night nice yeah i don't have any yet <laughs> you probably won't now for a probably. couple weeks afterwards now <laughs> yeah yeah so yes things have been been interesting but yes we are still live and we're back for another episode yep we've got a decent amount of news actually considering everything's over <laughs> and um, yet not what? And yet not. And yet not, apparently. Because remember, the ride never ends. <laughs> the show may have ended, but the ride <laughs> the ride never ends. So yes, yeah, so we got news. We have a comic to talk about. And we're going to do our Season 9 list, as we do after every season. And wrap up and all that crap. Yep. <laughs> our wrap up before the winter. Ah, uh. uh, yes. <sighs> and... I don't think we'll... Yeah, we won't really have much fan content. We have, like, an, a little thing, but we don't have time. <laughs> this no time. is going to take a little while. These always do. So we'll try and keep keep things quick for that. Anyway, I guess we should start with the news, as we always do. If you would like to follow along, and I recommend that you do, you can find all of our show notes at pony411.libsyn.com slash show notes. Remember, this spelled L-I-B-S-Y-N. So go there and then click the link for this episode, and let's get into this. In convention news, BabsCon has announced Nicole Oliver, yeah. and TrotCon has announced Ellie Ray. Yeah. Yeah. Not a surprise. Not a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> In merchandise news, the official MLP 2020 calendar is now available on Amazon. If you, and other places. And other places. So it's out if you want to, if you get those. Enterplay has released their entire Series 5 card set as a download. They will not be printing them. So you can download it and I guess print it yourself. But yeah, download only for the last... There's I card quality the paper one. out there. Yes, print on cardstock and on a nice printer and it'll look pretty good. Yeah, download only. So I don't think I don't, I don't think there's going to be another series. I no. think they're stopping I'm pretty, too. Yeah, it's, it's based the on this. It. It's the card series is done yeah if you are interested in those make sure you get them game loft has added some reverse and nightmare nights content to their game mm -hmm. so if you still play that <laughs> get it and to comic news a preview for feats of friendship number two is up on itunes and previews world has a preview for friends is magic issue number 86 they also have a synopsis for us, and it's when painfully shy Marble Pie tries to make friends at school, she ends up panicking and agreeing to throw a party instead. Good thing she's got a sister who's known for throwing just about the most amazing parties in all of Equestria. Wait, it's not supposed to be mod. In Equestria Girls news, part six of Sunset's Backstage Pass is up on YouTube. Is that the last one? It is the last <laughs> it is one. It's the last one, finally. <laughs> got all the parts up. And two promos for Holidays Unwrapped are now up on YouTube as well. That thing that's actually, you know, been released in other places is now has promos. 
Speaking of been released in other places, it's been leaked. Surprise. Surprise. Like actually, apparently everything it was, else. My understanding is actually it was not another leak. It was the, the leak before, but they just now released it more recently. Yeah. The person who grabbed it has been releasing stuff piecemeal. Yep. So the whole thing's out there already. And on English. YouTube. Yep. Yeah, and apparently this person they have even have those weird uh, that's those six uh, weird pseudo short clip episodes that they're gonna do. They, they have them, wonderful. But they're not gonna re- they said they don't want to. They don't even bother releasing them. So I was like, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I guess. I guess we well, we'll finally have something that isn't leaked. But it's just a YouTube like, thing. It's most like mostly clip. So it's like yeah. with voiceover. And so it's like I'm not even sure we're gonna be <laughs> worth talking about really. Yeah, maybe as a mention, as a side mention. Anyway, moving on to the last little bit. Shout Factory apparently has no current plans on a Season 8 or 9 DVD. Well, All right. The only way to buy those is uh, digital. Fun. Kind of sucks. Unless they surprise if we were doing a Blu-ray. Yeah, they they think they s- said potentially plans might change in the future. Yeah, but... but... At the, at the, that's just. I would love to have like a complete Blu-ray collection. Yes, everyone would, but they have <sighs> never done a Blu-ray period except for the series. Yeah, at least not in the U.S. I believe Australia got them. <laughs> wow. <All> places. <laughs> wow. Well, that's because they can't download them because you know <laughs> their internet sucks. <laughs> their internet sucks. Cost nine hundred dollar dues. Ah. One of the concept artists from the My Little Pony movie has released some of their work. Yes. It looks really cool. Yeah, I forgot Capra was not a cat at one point. Yeah. He was a fox, which I guess was a little too obvious. (laughs) Yeah, it would be a little too obvious. Foxes just like cat dogs anyway. No, cat dogs like cat dogs. Cat dog. Cat dog is actually something completely different, yes. And Big Jim did a QA and a after the finale. Whole most, bunch of questions. Most of it is just it's open to interpretation. That, that's the standard answer. <laughs> is it this or this? That's your choice. That's the answer. Yeah. They they really didn't define a lot of those things and left left them open on purpose. So which it's... then that of course got some people upset. Of course, <laughs> ambiguity. Be... It's because like no. in their in their effort to make people not upset, they got people upset because you <laughs> cannot win. You can't. <laughs> So yes, the the official answer to a lot of those is it's the fandom's choice now. It's our job to fill in the blanks mm-hmm. and, and choose our own thing. Time to splinter or the fandom over one. those things like yeah, we the, do over everything else. Like Luster Dawn looks a lot like Starline Sunburst. Any relation? I say no, but Josh Haber says yes. You decide. I thought it was the other way around, but yeah. That's what it says. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yep. And last little bit. Hasbro has released two videos on Instagram featuring Twilight and Spike. And basically, it's... The behind the scenes. And, yeah. Goop, behind the scenes. Behind kind the of scenes. Thing. Yeah. Fake. Because everything was fake. They're just actors in a big movie. <laughs> yep. They're kind of interesting. Nothing really big in them, though. And the animation's a little janky. Yeah, it's just quick, cheap animation. So, it's not like they put a huge amount of production value into a short little Instagram video. And that's the news. So, right. yeah. Mm-hmm. Moving on, we do have a comic to talk about, so yep. go ahead. Came out last week, issue number 83 of the Mainline series, which was written by Thom Zaylor and art by Kate Sharon and colors by Heather Breckel, in which uh, Twilight and Spike are going up to the Great Northern Tortoise Races, which apparently is in Pony Britain. Yep, apparently. And then they get there, and, oh, no, it's one of the big, it's uh, it's all deserted because apparently the races might be called off because uh, Silver Blaze is missing. Which is one of the tortoises. Yes, one of the tortoises. So uh, the they have one. to figure out uh, what happened to the tortoise and to, so the race can go on. So that's pretty much the story. Yep. It's very wordy, I've noticed. It is. It's very Some of the verbose. art, particularly any three-quarter profiles, are iffy sometimes. It's it's like the so artist the f- is still getting used to the... The faces Kate Sharon is still getting used to the faces and whatnot. Because some, sometimes you get some weird eyes and mouths and stuff just throughout so it's kind of odd in that regard but yeah you got some interesting characters i mean it's uh, pony britain it's pony britain trotting ham so. so i don't think it's it's not actually trotting ham yeah but yeah so correctly. you got a pony cop with yeah, pony a bobby <laughs> yep 
Lay stride of Trotland Yard. Oh, Trotland Yard, yep. Because <laughs> that's the Scotland Yard. And of course, yeah, the, there's the action figure collector. London, the doll collector. No! They're highly, fully postable, articulated, collectible. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, so that one. Nah. And the mystery is kind of like, um, okay. Hmm. The, 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 the answer, it's like, someone here, let's just say there's more than one bad person in this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's interesting, I think. It's just kind of... I mean, yeah, it's a, it's like, you know, kind of make it telegraph some of it, but yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. I kind of liked it, but yeah, it's just... um, It was neat, Some of the but... art was really off, and just, again, it's really wordy, which you're kind of in a weird bind when it comes to making a mystery in comic form, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's my thing. It's like the art sometimes often is a little wordier than it probably needs to be, but it's still somewhat enjoyable. Yep. Now I'll echo that statement. All right, so I guess it's time to go on to our main topic. Mm. Season 9. Season 9 overall. Season 9 overall. The final yes. season overall. The final, the now, end. Now we've had two weeks to ruminate and whatnot. Ruminate or try to avoid thinking about it because, you know, <laughs> we have to think about it. Though. That's the thing. Yeah, but try to put it off as much as you can because you don't want to think about it because it hurts so much. <sighs> yeah. So, we're going to do what we always do and yeah. rank them from worst to best. Well, of course, also talk about the season. The overall, overall yeah. Overall, season nine. I'm happy with it. Yeah, it was it was a mostly good season. There had a couple missteps throughout, but, but I, I feel think overall it, it never was... hit the lows of like season six or eight. Yeah, it didn't have the low lows that earlier ones did. So it was definitely mm. overall an enjoyable season. Final season. Yes. Yeah. It, it, yeah. I, th- I think it did a lot of, um, I think it did pretty much mostly what I was hoping for. Not everything, mind you, but mostly. Uh, and yeah, it had a lot of good stuff in it. Um, they did this, the, the faces, they did some, started doing a weird new thing with the faces this season. I remember that, um, how they drew them sometimes. Yeah. There was a lot of, like new new facial animation that they they did for this season, I was noticing. Yeah, there's a particular kind of like the way they like when the, the when the ponies would look certain ways, they'd have a different kind of face than they did there. So it was kind of odd sometimes to see. It. It's interesting. I actually I was poking around on the files I have saved, and I found my notes from before season line, nine for the wish list that we did. Oh. Looking at the wish list that I had, and now comparing it to what we actually got, I'm actually surprised that we pretty much got everything that I wrote down. Yeah, a real conclusion. Yep. Scootaloo's family. Yep. And I have in the notes primarily her aunts and. Guess what we got? Uh, parents and aunts. And I have a little sub note. Any obvious LGBT representation, like officially confirming Lyra Bond. Mm. And guess what? We got literally that. got that. Uh, character consolidation. Yeah, I guess we kind of got that. But yeah, refocus on the main six, mm. which was a big one. Yeah. And, I, and I, I thought that we might not actually get that and we did. Yeah, I also have a couple episodes the student six were kind of pushed in the background. Yeah. Which is good. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I it's that's why I'm overall pleased. Like yeah. I, I I got a lot of the core things I was really looking for. Yeah. It was definitely one of the better seasons. Um I'm not entirely certain because like I probably should go back and rewatch season four because we've always been saying season four is always the best overall season. But yeah, but like, I think like we're just been so long the, now. The the awesome finale. <laughs> it's well, just, it's not just no, it wasn't just the awesome yeah. finale. I just feel like because season four, I, it was one of those few seasons where I felt didn't really have a weak episode, but then other people disagreed. So it's like again, it's one of those things I'd have to go back and rewatch season four because I we've always been for the last few years. But then again, that's the thing. Last few years. <laughs> last few years. <laughs> Remember, season four was. Five years ago? <laughs> yeah, it was 2014. 2013, yeah, 2013, 2014. Yeah, we're, we're talking five, six years ago. Yeah. So it, it's been a while. And I remember at the time, it was right after season three, which really did not inspire a lot of hope. Well, <laughs> it, it was your a, case. 
Yes, I know. But for a lot of people, season three was probably I'm talking about on a worst. personal level. So... Because for me, like, I was not as down on season three as a lot of people. Like, yeah, it's kind of weaker in some ways, but I feel like, like, I've, I still feel season six and eight are both weaker than season three. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we did have a slightly weak season before, so it may, you know, the good when season four turned out pretty well, we have, we're comparing against season three and it makes it even look even better. I, I, I still think so. it's like, way back, I just remember we, neither of us were really down on any of the episodes in season four. So that's the thing. Yeah. I neither of us were have... ever down on any of them for compared to like seasons five, you know, moving on seasons five. And so on. we always had at least one episode. We're like, this is not very good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I still have old notes from season four. We didn't ever did a list for season four no, either. We didn't. I have only like w- notes for one episode. <laughs> Yeah, a big set of notes, but yeah, it's season four episode. we never did a list, and that's one of those things. Like we, I think we we both said basically Twice Kingdom is the best episode of the season, and we both said that at the time. I think, yeah, that was the finale, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the finale. Yeah. So it, it was an amazing. It really was an amazing episode. Yeah, so that was the thing. So that was, that's the thing is I would have to rewatch it. But season nine is definitely one of the upper it's up, seasons. It, it's, I feel it's in the upper. Half, it's got, again a few few missteps here and there, but one of the better seasons overall. Yeah, definitely. And it's also a weird thing about it. Like season one is like, I've, we've always called it the most even F season. Then going back and like, actually, no, it really wasn't, was it? <laughs> there's a lot of, I, I think looking back to season one, there's a lot of nostalgia goggles going yeah, on. But that was the there. thing. But for a lot of people, the, for a lot of people, that means that's the best season. Now it's yeah, like, this, and I'm looking back, so it's always been pretty, pretty good season, but other seasons came better. And it was never really bad either. And then going back and watching Ghostbusters Busters and yeah. Over Barrel and stuff like, wow, these actually were not great episodes, were they? <laughs> but they were great for the time because that's all we had had and now we've just seen how much better it can well, be. Well even then even I remember so, Over the Barrel got a lot of flack back when it first came out so it's kind yeah. of a weird one. <laughs> so did us uh, Owls by the Ends well those both got so did CMC episodes those all but, got lots of flack. How, how, how dare you say that Lauren Faust episodes were bad. <laughs> yeah revisionism right. <laughs> Yeah, over a barrel. Yeah, like it's realizing over a barrel is actually pretty bad. And so is Ghostbusters. Like that. I'm, I'm trying thing. to even remember over a barrel. Colonialism. Uh, with uh, the, the, the buffalo actual... and everything. Oh God, that one. Yeah, Ugh. colonialism. Okay, yeah, that one got a lot of flack. Not for not at the time. It was mostly just because I think people just didn't like it. But now I'm, oh, we, we gave it a lot of flack. We cut later, more recently, we go with the whole colonialism. Thing. Yeah, you look at it, it's like it didn't really land that one very well. Did yeah, it? and Ghostbusters like watch it. I remember watching. It's like I think it was fine way back when we were going back and watching. It's like it's actually not a great episode, and it's like it's weird. That was Trixie's introduction, wasn't yep. it? We were like, it's weird, like, going back and realizing this is actually kind of a bad episode. Kind of, bleh. And like, how did we like, how, why did Trixie get a fan base? Uh, <laughs> yeah, how did well, that happen? everyone's different. <laughs> it's like realizing, how did, tri- how did Trixie get a fan base out of this? Uh, Whatever. Well, yeah, everyone's nine. different. Season nine is definitely a good one. Yeah. Though. It, it really I, I'd is. have to, I don't sure what, where I'd put it overall in the grand scheme of things, particularly since, again, I'd have to rewatch season four, but... Definitely better in season six and six and eight. Seven's pretty up there. Five. I'm trying to remember five. That was that was Cutie Map was introduced. Yeah, that was and Starlight was introduced. As yeah, Starlight was introduced at the beginning. The that had the our town and Starlight still a villain. And, mm-hmm. Yeah, and you didn't like the finale. <laughs> well, it, I like parts you, of the finale. Yeah, you didn't like certain aspects of the finale. Yeah, it also had the uh, winter's coming. <laughs> Yes. I don't know. Yeah, I had some good ones there, but it still had What About Discord. <laughs> it still had What About Discord. And Princess Spike. And Princess Spike. Oh, Princess Spike. Yeah, two <sighs> episodes written by, written by Dosido, who, which were very much... Uh, Subpar. Met, yeah, <laughs> not, met, not with a lot of enthusiasm. And then he, yeah, he, I remember he started... Really made sure to uh, tell people off on it when they shared their opinions on the ship. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was, yeah, yes. Season nine was definitely better pretty great. Than some of the other and it was also really nice because it's all kind of the weird thing of like picking up a lot of the plot threads. First time ever, we started picking up plot threads from a previous season and going forward with them and actually having you know f- fairly frequent check ins on an overall arc thing with between Twilight becoming a the ruler of Equestria and the villains and whatnot, you know, plotting Although, frequent check-ins on those rather than, oh yeah, we're just gonna 
have a whole episode just about this one thing which then just oh at the very end uh, oh hey yeah remember this thing? thing from the first episode now we're gonna bring it back again finally <laughs> yeah no yeah before it's always been like first episode and finale and premiere and finale are connected everything else is whatever yeah. slice least, of life yeah at least Except for season, that season season one they had like two or three other that kind of mentioned it season four had that thing of the uh the keys but that was always like it's the episode itself is almost entirely unrelated except for the very end they get a little thing yep they get the key they learn their lesson this is like yeah this is one where like hey we're gonna tie into previous season with the villains coming back and we're gonna i'll do all this stuff and yeah all interconnected and storylines and stuff i like i like it worked out really well i think in the end yeah (sighs) <sighs> so you want to start the list itself? Yeah, start the list. Start the list itself. Okay. So yeah, making this list was was ah, fun. Fun with air quotes. Fun. <laughs> Trying some to it was figure easy. Some, some of it was yeah, very some hard. Some parts are easy. Some parts are hard. And I really have difficulty uh, lining these things up every season. I always have been because they're always like, ah, oh, they're all like so similar. I can switch every other day. I'd feel differently about them. Although we did have half of them already done. Yeah, so I did have somewhat. to reevaluate because it's been half a season after making the last list. And I did actually have to make a slight adjustment. <gasps> yeah. To my bottom two. <laughs> my least favorite. And that's where we're going to start. Yep. So 24 episodes because we consider the premiere, the premiere and the well, season finale. Uh, yeah. We're considering the, the two epilogue. parts are considered one yeah. one episode. Beginning of, of the end, ending of the end, we're considering those two parters single episodes. So only yep. twenty four total. So to begin, you want to start this? That's what it usually does is whoever's hosting goes yep. last. Yep. So you get to start this with number twenty four. Which is unusual because I, I usually host these because of how things work, but it worked out really great this, this time. time. So go ahead. So number twenty four, I once again put at the bottom student council. Student council has stayed. Yeah, student bottom. council has stayed at the bottom. I just really think that's just an overall really weak episode between the, the Starlight Trixie focus and whatnot, and just the weirdness of the the cockatrice thing. The whole that just felt <laughs> that this like whole a whole thing. This yeah. whole extended this unnecessary thing. The stupidity with the let's close the door with the big open wall and the concrete. Yeah, everything about it. Other than pretty much everything other than mod was not great. Exactly, mod was the on, only real redeeming part. And in like I said in the first half list that we did, Trixie points. Trixie had some points that were pretty good, but yeah. Mod was pretty much the selling point of the episode, but it's not enough. Oh yeah, Mudbriar was pretty annoying too. Oh god, Mudbriar. <laughs> yeah, it's nice I saw it dead last uh, still. Yeah, and this this is where I changed because first half I had a different episode. But yes, student council has dropped down. Yeah. It has become my number 24 as well, my least favorite, mm. for exactly the same reasons. Um, God. It's just uh, <laughs> that's how, how the entire episode feels. It's just... Yeah. Is it over uh, yet? <laughs> really? No, but, but, but just, this is the whole, the whole moral, the whole... Oh, yeah, the whole, yeah, the whole workaholic that, that was, thing. That thing... Was such a uh, weird misfire. I forgot about that part. Work-life balance. You have to have maintain this work life separation, but no, Focus don't. On your work. It's your fault because you didn't. Oh wait, no. <laughs> yeah, their whole weird thing of like they really accidentally oh, uh, yeah, went under, against they, the moral yeah, and then realized the, the last second had to re- reel it back in. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so both of us share twenty four as student council. Yeah. So yeah, twenty three though. I again put sweet and smoky. Put it's sweet exactly. And smoky. Also at second to bottom. Uh, that was the spike and. Fluttershy, I think. Yeah. Spike and Fluttershy. Going to the dragon and lands and the dragons and, and, and eggs and all that stuff. Yeah. And the brother. Yeah. With that's what Garble it was. And yeah. It was just, I think it was just a, just, uh, Be- again, yeah. I don't like Spikes it- too much as a character either. Garble, the whole weird thing, Garble's like just some arts, um, artsy fartsy poet or who's just bullying because he's afraid of, yeah, it's a, it's a weird thing. I don't know. It's just a lot of it about the ep- so I just remember the episode feeling just weird to watch. I can't remember the exact criticisms other than yeah, it was just weird. Just weird. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Number twenty three. I have uprooted. Mm, yeah. Okay. Because that was my bottom from the first half. So they just swapped. Same basic idea for what you just said for sweet and smoky. The whole episode just felt weird. 
like overt product placement kind of a thing. Except Just product this, doesn't exist, which is the extra weird Which part. is weird because <laughs> it really felt, the entire episode felt like, like I understand that the entire show is intended to push a toy line, but it usually doesn't feel like it's intended to push a toy line. It's not obvious, but this one just felt so strongly like, gotta make this new tree, which they never did. A little surprise. Yes, I don't think they did. I don't think they may have, but I don't know. But it just felt odd, and the pacing was just kind of disjointed. It just felt odd. It was, it was yeah. beyond just a kind of boring episode, because it wasn't just boring. It was just something was off. Mm-hmm. I remember some of that. Something was just off about it. Yeah. 22. Yeah, 22. I put, that's where I put uprooted. You put uprooted there. Yeah. So, yeah, they're my bottom three are exactly the same as last time. Uh, yeah, it's, it's the same thing. It's just, I think part of it was just, I remember it was like two montages in a row. I was like, what is going on? And this is a weird thing of just how it's like the whole, I understand it's supposed to be about the whole grieving process and whatnot. And then, the, but it was just a weird way to do it. I just felt like a, it was, it felt very shoehorned in some ways. And like, um, I don't know. It's just Didn't again clarify anything about the tree. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, kind of. It just it was a student. It's just oh, because the tree is important in student six, we got to do something about that because the tree just blew up. So yeah, yeah. Oh we yeah, yeah student six to it somehow. It's an episode that wouldn't have existed if the school whole bad school idea didn't exist in the first place. So there you go. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, it's not great. It wasn't great. Neither is my number t- number twenty two, which was two four six gray. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which try. feels really weird for me to put something like this at the bottom because it is such a dash centric episode. But, but this is one of those cases where a lot of dash fans hate it. <laughs> it's ah, oh, I think if you don't like dash, you won't say it's this bad because it it strikes us personal attachment. And it, ah, I do not like what they did with Dash, and I don't think it fits her character. It, it, it's just, uh, it's just, it's not great. Because yeah. I know she cares more than that, than they made her in that episode. It, uh, she completely blows off her students. I know she doesn't do that. It, and she's never done stuff like that before. And it's like, it, it just felt really out of character and off. <laughs> but there was some good aspects to it as well yeah. and over and over and over <laughs> and over <laughs> that's not there the were some good aspects to it so i can't say it's you know I, that's why i put it above uprooted yeah but okay. it's just <sighs> yeah uh, number 21 and i know i'm probably going to catch a bit of flack for this one i put a horseshoe in <laughs> Yeah, uh, the Trixie Starlight episode, which uh, it's one of those things. It's like, this is where I have to clarify things. Yeah, there's nothing really wrong with the episode per se. However, these lists are personal opinions and not like trying to measure objective quality or thing. This is measurement of personal enjoyment. I didn't like that episode that much because it's all Trixie Starlight. And um, as people are well aware of, I don't like those characters very much. <laughs> so it's one of those, it's hard to enjoy despite the fact there's nothing technically wrong with it i can't enjoy it very much so of course it goes to the bottom the only reason it gets above those other ones because well those ones are actually kind of leaning towards the bad side yep so that's the only reason it gets up this high otherwise i'd probably put it even lower but i had to admit that yes the other ones were just worse yep even if yeah because this was technically not a bad episode just i didn't like it that much yeah i i went back and listened to what we were saying we both basically said it's like it it wasn't it was, it, it was fine, like it. but <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, there's nothing wrong. I just don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Number 21, I put sweet and smoky just because it wasn't bad. It was just, to me, it was just meh. <laughs> we, we, we've gotten to that point in my list where I don't think it's bad anymore. I just, eh, eh it whatever. just, okay, it, it's a thing moving on. And that that's just how the whole thing felt. It was just like, it exists. It, all right. Okay. <laughs> That's all I can really say about it, too. Yeah. Right. yeah. 20? 20, yeah, I put Common Ground. Common uh, that ground. was the one with Patton Oswalt. That was yeah. the one last time we said, I honestly forgot what it was. Yep, I actually had to look at the list, like, which one was this? Oh, right, it was that yeah, one. Okay. exactly. I, I, I look at the name, and I was like, which, which, which one's called Common Ground? Which one is that? Oh, oh Patton Oswalt one, I remember like, now. Which sucks, because Patton Oswalt is amazing. Yeah, and he is, and he was good in this. It's just, 
Okay. Yeah, it's, it's just the whole, whole nice thing with the, you know the, 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 he's got the kid and the new girlfriend and or, yeah his girlfriend new girlfriend has got a kid and he's trying to connect and all this so, yeah it's a fine little story but I'm like and it's nice that you know it was his actual real but life again family. it's I'm just like yeah it's I literally forgot it existed until I was reminded of it making the lists so it's like <laughs> it's like that kind of it kind of sums it up as I forgot about it yeah so that's why it's so low yeah <laughs> number twenty I have a horseshoe in. Uh, there it is <laughs> not too, too much far away from yours <laughs> and yeah like 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 you said and like we said both back in the other one it's not a bad episode but it is well written and it can be enjoyable however if you actually enjoy the characters i think the characters were well written but <laughs> they fit their their characterizations they're perfectly in character they didn't do anything annoying I just don't care for him that much. Yeah. So if you are a Trixie and or Starlight fan, this is a great episode for you. And I pretty I, sure you probably I, loved it. I, I, and I'm happy if you enjoyed it and go for it. Enjoy this episode. It is a good written episode and I encourage you to enjoy it. I just don't care that much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not for me. <laughs> yeah. Because that's one of those things, like I've said before, if if we made a season three list, I would put Magical Mystery Cure at number one. I don't and I care. totally would not, and I would rag like, on you for I it. Because loved it, it, I loved it, it that was, much. It's it one of those a, things I will say, yes, it's absolutely flawed. It but was horribly written. I, was saying, I, I, I said, I would absolutely why? admit that it was horribly flawed, but yeah, it's just... I loved it that much. My wife who got all of powers. Yay. I just I just enjoyed it that much and that was what it was about. Uh, just, that's what I mean personal enjoyment. I, like, yeah. This is what this is the opposite of that. This yep. is an episode that neither of us really like, even though it's well written. Yep. Whereas yep. Magical Mystery is an episode that's actually kind of not well written particular or wouldn't say well written, but um not particularly well made compared to other episodes, but I still really loved it. Yeah. So that's the thing. Yep. And that's something to know when we list these. If you like something more than we do, that's not an attack on you. Or is it? If we no, it's s- not. No. <laughs> if we say we really don't like an episode and you really like it, that's fine. That's perfectly okay. <laughs> We're not attacking you. You are perfectly welcome to like something we don't. So, yeah. Sometimes. Depends on what it is. <laughs> Yeah, well, I there's mean, a, there, if it's just literally here. a personal preference and not like whether someone deserves to exist or not, that's different. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, uh, number 19, I put 246 great. So, yeah, not so much higher. But, yeah, I know. I remember I was a little more positive about it than you were. But yeah, but you don't still like Dash, Dash so <laughs> you're not as hurt when Dash is done badly. Yeah, exactly. I'm, it feels you know, like I would, a personal I would still kind of argue she was not that done that badly, but still it's a Dash episode, and it's kind of, yeah, she's just being a jerk the entire time, and so therefore it kind of gets a low rating. And over, and over, and over. That uh, was a nutshell. Thank you, Round Trip. You are amazing. <laughs> uh, number 19, I have common ground. So mm. our lists have now synced up. <laughs> Somewhat, yes. Uh, and again, it it's a Dash episode, so, and it was a fairly... I guess well written episode and Dash was mostly in character, so it was just boring. <laughs> just it was and not very memorable. It, same same issues, just is disappointing because it's one of those. Which Pat one is? Nestle. Oh right, now I remember that one. But then you forget about it because yeah. it was just kind of. It existed. All right. It exists. It existed, and yeah, that's that's. You think it's like Patton Oswalt's in it? So how? It yeah, like and that? it's I wanted to like it so much more because Patton Oswalt did a perfectly fine job. Great job, even. Yeah, it's just. It's, uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, nineteen. Eighteen for me though is uh, Dragon Dropped. That's the rarity spike one. That's that's with Gabby. Yeah, with I Gabby. had to keep looking that one up. Like, wait, which one? All oh, right, yeah. Gabby. Um, this one is just I, rarity was fantastic, and oh, but yeah. I think for me it was just the whole we're going to focus on this weird spike rarity thing that's been going on this entire series, and then just kind of st- leave it still somewhat vague and ambiguous about whether or not we're going to conclude that or anything. And yeah, it's um, yeah, it's just kind of basically the. I think this is one of those times where I was like, this is something that should have been uh, put down. Like, <laughs> let's just kill it now but yeah no, the whole vagueness on how that yeah mm. Mm. Eh. Uh, 18 i have daring doubt ah. it's because it was a weird daring do episode i didn't like some of the things the whole retconning ish of Aoi zodal the whole could possibly be misinterpreted thing with fluttershy and having to view all sides <laughs> taken to their 
their perspective. Yeah. It's like, I, I get what you're going for, and that's fine, but it could be definitely be misinterpreted. It just, it, it was a decent episode. Like, at this point, uh-huh. all of these are decent episodes. I wouldn't say any of these so far are bad. But there was just a little bit off about it. Here and there, I just kind of uh, could have done that a bit better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, seventeen. Yeah, seventeen for me is she's all yak. She's all yak. That's the one with Yona, Yona trying to be pony like. But the bodies hit the floor. Yeah, that one. <laughs> that one. Um, it, this one's kind of think it's just a weird thing. It's like it could. I think it could have been um more. Is it like touching on like you know someone come trying to you know what deciding whether or not to assimilate into another culture. <laughs> And whatnot, and just kind of, it was just kind of wound up being an odd. I think there's some, what was it? There's some oddities about it. I'm trying to remember what it was. Yeah, because you, you got Yona. Yeah, everyone's trying to help Yona, but it's just kind of not great advice, and then it all goes bad. And it's just, then you got Yona singing sad song. And yeah, <laughs> it is fun. It's just, yeah, it's also just. Also, Sandbar. Yeah, I think it's one of those. It's an episode that's kind of on the, that's kind of the thing of, it's kind of fun, but also just kind of not the greatest this is other yeah. episodes are more fun yeah <laughs> 17 i have dragon dropped ah. and i can echo your statements the only thing to put it above daring doubt is because tabitha saint germain is a gem <laughs> yeah and rarity's not even my favorite character in fact it's my my least favorite of the main six still great character and tabitha is just amazing as rarity and it just did an amazing job and that brought it up a little bit but otherwise mm-hmm. it was still Drug down with the just the oddness of the whole spike and disparity vagueness and yeah it could have been better mm-hmm. but it was still all, it, it was decent but could be better yeah Remember, 16 sorry 16 yeah, i put daring doubt that's yeah. yeah daring doubt yeah it was just kind of the weird the the weird retcons and the fluttershy boogieing it um the entire time in a weird way. It's just, it was weird. And yeah, surpri- not surprised a lot of people are calling that. Oh, people, those people are going to be so mad at this episode because Fluttershy is trying to be the reason, trying to be reasonable. It's like, mm, yeah, right. Uh, That's what she's doing. Being reasonable. We like listening to the villain and believing the villain over a person she's come to know as a friend of some sorts. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And it uh, didn't help that the show fed into that sort of a uh, mindset of, uh, Yep. Let's listen to these people. We have to listen to the people and inspire the discourse so then we can meet in the middle regardless of what their position is. Like, it's always mm, the thing. It's like, mm. Listening to them is one thing, but just following them along is another. Yeah, but anyway, um, it was just kind of a, it had some odd ideas, I guess. 16. Yeah. She's all yak. <laughs> She's a lot closer. <laughs> these lists are a lot closer. Than yeah, they are pretty, pretty close. I mean, Yeah. Fun episode, but could be better. Again, it's, it's we're, not we're hitting perfect. that we're we're hitting that middle ground already. Mm-hmm. We're going through that where it's they're good episodes, but they're could be more memorable. Could be things better done. Yona was amazing, but there, there was just like some little weirdness here and there. Eh. Yeah, sandbar. Sandbar. Sandbar like so. <laughs> Sandbar and Yana. Not the thing even in the finale. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um for me, number fifteen is going to seed. You know what? Yes. Yeah, We're matched. Same. Okay, cool. Uh, um, <laughs> 15, yeah, going to going seed. To That's seed. The, that was the one with Applejack and Apple Bloom and the Apple Yeah, thing. it was the weird out al- Spirit of the Forest. no, Spirit of the Forest was at the comic. Yeah. <laughs> God, they're so similar great though. Apple something eight it's great a seedling. Great pumpkin. Great seedling. I think that's the one. That's what. It, yeah, it was that one. It's kind of a fun episode, and this is kind of a fun little family antics. But it's, and it was fun seeing Applejack kind of go from God be responsible to we gotta catch this thing, <laughs> gotta catch him. I mean, wait, no, not, not and, yeah, and Big Mac sleepwalking like a doofus, but like yeah. a doofus. But it was just yeah, yeah it's just kind of a, it's one of those things where it's it's fine, it's all right, but yeah, there's um better episodes, but there's also much worse episodes. Yes, yes. There you go. Same thing. On exactly. <laughs> and number fourteen. That's where I put. Uh, she talks to Angel. Uh, that's an ep- yeah, it's a body swap episode, and the thing I think for me the reason it gets this low, even though it was kind of fun, was like they didn't do more with it. I feel they could have done a lot more with the concept of Angel and Fluttershy swapping places, and they just kind of didn't. 
Yeah, missed opportunity. Yeah, it's just, it could have been more. And it, was, it was entertaining on its own, but yeah, it feels like they could have gone further with it, especially since it's just like seems like just as the core is just trolling them practically. Oh, <laughs> uh, there you go. Yeah. What are we on? 14? Yes, 14. I have the last laugh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. These are all fun episodes. These are all great episodes, but Pinky's never really been my number one character. But this was still a good episode for, yeah. and it was it was generally a fun episode. I just think there's others that I liked more. Yeah, yeah. Seeing Weird Al come back and well, now we know where it went. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, them getting back. The first part of them getting back together <laughs> happened here. But yeah. yeah, it was fun, but I just think others are better. Yeah, number thirteen is where I put the last laugh. Oh God! <laughs> right above. <laughs> so yeah, it's um. Yeah, a lot of that same thing. Um, yeah, I used to like Pinky more. I thought I felt she got really kind of was becoming more annoying as a character, and I think this episode was a much better Pinky episode than we've had in a while. And, you know, it was it was fun. We had the um, what's his face? I can't remember his name now, but the, the oh really yeah, the ser- really serious, dry humor, the, the very serious dry guy didn't one. crack up until a pun happened. Until the puns, because yeah. puns, because he's analyzing all the jokes. I mean, yeah, it's also kind of fun having the like vague uh, Willy Wonka type references throughout yeah, as well. So you, you really look into Willy Wonka and you realize that's actually kind of creepy. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't don't think about it because it's yeah. Really it, fun, so it's right? fun and Weird Al was fun as well, and they had a fun little Weird Al song at the end as well. So there we go. Yeah. It was it was fun and I think it was a uh, it was finally Pinky getting a good episode for the first time in a long time. Yeah, yeah, she definitely needed a good episode like that. Number thirteen, I have. She talks to Angel. Would you stop that? <laughs> I hey, we didn't even talk about this no. before we wrote. But this, I so made my list all... first, so <laughs> yeah. But we never communicate, so it doesn't matter. Clearly, we never. We you're never... at fault. No, nope. all it is. No, nope. you're at fault. Anyway, yeah, she talks to Angel. Fun episode. Wish they could have done a little bit more. Maybe Angel could have used a better lesson because it felt like you know cause Angel's a jerk. He really is, and I, it was sort of a lesson to Angel to stop being a jerk. But I think it could have been a little bit different. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, but still, overall, it was a, a fun, fun episode. Number twelve. I am. Uh, that was a Sparkle Seven. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, you put that one low. <laughs> yeah, I did. It was for me the last time. It was number six, so that kind of gives you an idea. Well, <laughs> I, I, both times I, midway through the list, the list is just longer now. Uh, the thing with that one, um, I feel yeah, it was the two hundredth episode. I feel kind of like it didn't quite live up to the potential it, what it should have been for a big milestone episode. I um, I think the story was a little messy because they're trying to marry a whole bunch of different ideas from all the v- actors and voice actors into one story so it kind of suffered for that they were marrying things later in the season though you know what There's i mean episode for that you know what i mean <laughs> yeah so it was kind of trying to get the all these ideas to all work in one story and it doesn't quite i think work out well it does have a lot of great moments in it i yeah i feel like it's one of those episodes that's strung a lot of great moments strung together by a iffy plot and it, you know, it was kind of like one of those, it was a heist episode, but it wasn't, and, but then just, it had to kind of make up a weird thing where it's like, you no, know, we have to make it so they're not actually stealing something. Yeah. Or whatever. What so, would they steal? And then, <laughs> then the whole weird, the, the weird the pull of a, hey, let's just have Spike win because of. That part was a bit weird. But. Yeah. But uh, again, it's a blunt, so that was my thing was just. A bunch of great moments kind of strung together very loosely and not not the greatest way. And it feels like it didn't quite live up to what it should have been for a 200th episode. That's why it kind of gets that low. Yeah, I, I had it a lot higher <laughs> in the first <laughs> list that we did. <laughs> ah, number 12. This is actually, um, we, we've actually hit a pretty big difference in the list this at this is, point this is the top half of the list yeah top half yeah but the difference between 13 and 12 is pretty big i think we've for for me personally we've just jumped up into the episodes i've really enjoyed okay. like these are the these are good good ones so these ones get really tough the next whole set get really tough for me to place but they gotta get placed and this is where i put growing up is hard to do mm, yeah growing up is hard to do it was an amazing episode. It really was. 
But there, you know, thinking back, there are some little, weird little plot hole things. Oh, shut up! Don't. Say <laughs> there are like, are they the, actually the, plot holes or are they plot holes? The CMC don't know how to use trains, even though they've oh, yeah. done it multiple times before. Yeah, <laughs> on their own, it's fine. They've gone off on their own multiple times before, so yeah. it's just like, it's a fun episode. Weird little things. But still a really fun episode. I think it's just those weird little things, and I guess some other ones just I liked better. But it's still, again, we've hit a point where these are still amazing episodes now. Yeah. A lot of fun. Okay. Yeah, it's number 11. I put The Last Crusade. Last Crusade. Oh, again, I have that one higher. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. I'm not surprised at <laughs> all. Yeah, that yeah, one. The Scootaloo. Yeah, yeah, this is where at the point where, like, at this point for me is, like, this is where we're starting to get into. These are the good episodes which are really kind of difficult to uh, separate out, and you can't really criticize them too much except for smaller things. Episodes. Yeah, this crusade is just, um, it's, you know, school. it's fun because we finally see Scootaloo's family, like, bo- multiple yes. parts of it. We see all, all of it. All that stuff, and it's like... Um, the ants and the parents. Yeah, we see the all that stuff, and it's, yeah, it's just kind of a fun episode in that regard of just seeing all that stuff in the... You know, Scootaloo's Australian. <laughs> <laughs> yep. There's some fun, fun moments, and we just see, like, how, you know, like, really seeing just how much of a big thing the CMC were over the course of the series. So, yeah. yeah, it's just, it was fun. Number Hello. 11. We should have Diamond Tiara. What? More. We should have got more Diamond Tiara, but no. Yeah. Well. Thanks, Hasbro. Thanks, Hasbro. Number 11. Big Mac question. Mm. The wedding. Like you said, marrying things. There it is. Uh, fun episode. It, it it really was. Discord being Discord. It's just all of it. All of it was just a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. It was fun. It was. It was it was a lot of fun. Yeah, so for me, number ten is where I put growing up is hard to do. Growing up is hard to do. Okay. Yeah, that's not that far. Top that ten. Different. And growing up is hard to do is yeah, it's 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 just a fun, silly episode. It's just a bunch of dumb kids trying to be adults and <laughs> In a way, I like a lot. I think a lot of us can actually somewhat relate to the idea. <laughs> yep, we've all been there. I mean, we're also the be real. A lot of us are adults trying to be thinking. <laughs> no, we're we're all kids thinking, <laughs> trying to struggle with the fact that, oh crap, <laughs> yeah, we're actually expected to be adults. Now. I'm supposed to be an adult now, and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Pro tip to all you kids listening to this: adults don't actually know what we're doing. That's actually how it is for the rest of your life. When you become an adult, you don't know. <laughs> You yeah. don't suddenly know what you're doing. No one does. Yeah. No one knows. But what it's, it, yeah, despite you know, I guess, yeah, I guess some of the weird contrivances that make the have to for, there to make the story work. It's still a lot of fun watching them kind of be dumb and be also the ticket pony and, again. What the ticket pony again? Yeah, the ti- ah yes, the ticket pony. <laughs> or just Fluttershy and Twilight at this point just expect just, it's like, yep, they messed everything up, didn't they? Yep. <laughs> so <laughs> you yeah, lived it, around it, the it CMC. You get used to the amounts of tree sap. <laughs> mm-hmm. It was just fun. It was. Number ten, summer sun setback. Uh, summer sun wow, setback. That's yes. a big difference. <laughs> the f- one of the first parts of where the villains show up again and start to mess things up and yeah. Somewhat successful, but main six are able to to keep things in check. And yeah, just all the antics, seeing seeing the 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 villains come back and start being villains together against main six instead of each other. Yeah. <laughs> um, all little all funny little bits. One thing always gets me is T Rex with the pie stand. It scares everyone away. Steals one for himself. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's free pie now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it's a fun episode. It really is. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, number nine is where I put a Trivial Pursuit. Yeah, it's. I know this episode has a lot of people who really do not like it. I I understand that, and I know it's weird because it's that weird thing. It goes right into the thing I've been complaining about with how they've been treating Twilight for a long time. But I think it managed to overcome itself in the fact this is the one where she really learns that she sometimes does get a little crazy. But it's I don't think it's it's not the same kind of crazy because it's basically she, it's it's more long lines. She's just really excited and only finding out the thing she's excited for might get ruined because of an an uh, unexpected factor, namely Pinky. Unforeseen consequences. Not really a consequence. Of Let me make my references. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna kill it. <sighs> nope. 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 
Yeah, Trivial Pursuit was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was that was the thing. It was just and also just a lot of funny faces from Twilight because she's the best at funny faces. Don't at me. I'll at you. Dash is best. I said maker. block. <laughs> Uh, number nine point of no return hmm. Twilight's got to get the book back to get her librarian back book. book book horse has to return a book a lot of fun yep. a lot of fun um, Twilight going on the journey and to try and find the librarian and our first instance of Silver Shoals hey. and I think one of the funniest parts about the whole thing was just the entire retirement community playing paintball. <laughs> it's just, wait, what? <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> you, you sure your your knees and back can handle that? <laughs> it's fine. All right. Well, yeah, that was just it. It was a lot of fun. It really was. Yep. And Twilight um, in her element, I think. Yeah. Number A is where I put between dark and dawn. The the celestial Luna going between on vacation. Between dark and dawn for number eight. Yep. Is that where you put it? Yep. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we have the same number eight then. Okay. Oh, yeah, because... Um, Between Dark and Dawn. Yeah, it's the Celestia Luna going on vacation and whatnot. It's just, you we know... finally got a sister's episode. Another one. Another one. Yeah, but I mean, like... No. We're not We're not going to talk about the other one <laughs> <laughs> from the last season. Was that last season? I think that was actually seasons? seven. That seven, was two seven, seasons seven, ago. Yeah, seven. Yeah. That one was different. Yeah. That had a, a, a third party. <laughs> yeah, who wasn't really welcome. But anyway, Trey, uh, yeah, this was a, a f- pretty fun one just because it's, you know, they're being acting like sisters. We got the whole thing with the post office <laughs> and whatnot. Uh, we're finding out Celestia's kind of a jock. Kind of a jock. And a, a tourist and likes to do her more extreme stunts. And then the, the song was pretty fun. Oh, uh, it was a just a fun. really nice one. And then, of course, it ended with a nice little heartwarming thing as well. Yep, and Twilight, and the device breaking and freaking Twilight yeah. out. Which, yeah, you oh, freak crap. out too. The thing is supposed to, you know, if... <laughs> this is supposed to let me do my The thing that's <laughs> supposed to let you do your job doesn't work. Oh, no. And the it's entire really world job. is depending on it. Yeah, and it breaks. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, so, good, good job there, sisters, you know, giving her faulty hardware. <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah, they didn't so know. I guess that would mean, again, me, though, seven is the yes. Big Mac question. You put the Big Mac question up there. Yeah. Uh, it's just one of those weird things where it's just, it was really fun. I like the format of the whole, let's tell the story and we're going to flashback and stuff. It was just very goofy, wild nonsense for the whole time. And just, this is one of those times where Discord's really well written versus some of the other times where it's like, he's yeah. more of a jerk. This is one that he's kind of a jerk sometimes, but he's also actually genuinely trying to help and whatnot, even if it's not yeah. the greatest method. Yeah, it's it's more, it's, I would say less of him being a jerk and more of him just not quite getting it. Yeah. Wanting to, but not quite getting the important parts. Yeah, there's just some funny bits in there, but throughout in this, you got, you know, Mrs. Cake just, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> getting overwhelmed. Just, and- did I put, did I put sugar in this? I don't know. Just one more. And then, the, and the, yeah, and then there's Granny Smith babbling about her strange space dream. And, oh god, that was and amazing. the CMC. It's like it's not our fault this time. It's not their fault this time. They did it was just right. fun. It was. It was just a lot of fun. And I think it was a really well it done. It's for particularly because it was a fina- final uh, regular episode. It's pretty well done. There you go. Number seven. Trivial Pursuit. There you go. You put it higher than me. I'm I did put it higher than you. That one. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, which is a bit odd. I, I, it was a lot of fun, and Twilight's twilighting was nowhere near. It, it was different, and it was more mellowed. It wasn't as just like oh, forced, mellowed, like some but... of them felt. And this one, like like you were saying, it had a place, but Dash was there. Oh, Dash was there. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, there there was actually an important little aspect. It's not actually as important as I might say it is. Um, but yeah, having Dash. Not only be part of a trivial thing, but also be very good at it. Well, we'll Dash have to ask questions stu- about Wonder Bolts eventually. <laughs> well, you, you remember and Dash flying, wasn't and weather. D- Dash wasn't all that good with history until Twilight helped. I don't know. They should work together more often. Hmm. Anyway, yeah. Well, Newsy Dash is with Apple. Jack I now. know. <laughs> OTP ruins. Uh, remember his, his Apple hope and Dash- optimism gone. <laughs> Apple Dash was always in my accepted ones. Meanwhile, I am free and clear to do sunlight as I wish. Yes. <laughs> but it, it was definitely a lot of fun. And God, 
Dash made a lot of good faces and moments in there as well. But there was just just the, the banter between all of them. It, again, there, it was fun. And a lot of these you could probably reorganize. They're hard to fit. Bananas! Bananas. What's number six? Just go to number six. <laughs> number six is the point of no return. Point of no return. Yep. Yeah, it's a really fun little Twilight episode. Uh, yeah, Spike's there, but yeah. <laughs> Spike's fine. I know, I just said Spike's there. I didn't say yeah, he was bad. I just said he's there. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 just yeah, it's Twilight kind of I think playing to her strength of like oh yeah, the, beyond just oh let's have her freak out again. It's, well, she is freaking out, but it's not the same freak out as usual. Where she's losing her mind. It's just she's going around. and She's kind of a little sometimes a little snarky and sometimes but it's just fun because like we just kind of tie a little bit into her past and whatnot. And just kind of she's a meticulous nerd. Yep. And she's upset because turns out her record, record's not so perfect. And it's just a fun little episode. You know, she, again, the Silver Shoals thing and all that stuff was great as well. And just kind of, yeah, kind of learning, hey, you don't have to be perfect all the time, which is a lesson it's... I had to learn a long while ago, which is hard to get over. Yeah. So... It does not, it's like, I think I was complaining about it. It's not that easy to get over it, but, you know, right. understanding that it's a 22 minute television show, you kind of have to make it a little faster. Yeah. Well, what is that phrase? Perfection. Um, perfection is the enemy of something. Perfect is the enemy of good. Thank you. Perfect is the enemy of good. So it's, it's a good lesson to learn. It's freeing. And that's what the whole lesson was. Sometimes yeah. learning that you don't have to be perfect all the time is freeing. Yeah. yeah. Number six, Sparkle 7. Ah, Should have put it yeah. at number seven just for the joke. So yeah, I, I think for me, I didn't feel it was as mismatched together as you did. And it was just a lot of fun. With the exception of the Zephyr. Part. that was the best part I'm talking about <laughs> god that was i was I, it was well done i'm not gonna say it was bad the but cringe it's is still just, oh <laughs> yeah right. it was it was just a lot of fun it was just it was over the top it was ridiculous and i think it just in parts of it just reveled in it and it was just a lot of fun yeah i liked it a lot yeah and for me five top number five. five yep top five for me i put number five at the beginning of the end we have the same top five beginning huh. of the end yeah we yeah that's the same uh, five yeah that's uh it's the premiere of course it and yeah it's premiere. kind of the uh, it's kind of this the thing of just you got the whole setup with everything yeah. the big fight with so- uh, sombra and all that stuff just it God, just works Sombra out. Was, Sombra was incredible in this. Yeah, it's like they went from just guy who just went crystals and gave him a personality, yeah. and it was just awful. It was just like his arrogant butthead. <laughs> it was great. It was perfect. Yeah. It was, uh, just, it was you know, kind of the thing. They really were did a good job of amping up, you know, ramping up the stakes and all that stuff and all. And it's just, you know, there's a whole, hey, we're going to retire. So, Pilot, you're in charge. You're going to be in charge. And, like, you know, we're. Introduction of Dis- I mean, Grogar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All that. It is, it is a fun time. And that, yeah, the whole villain team up thing. And just like, wow, that's new and different. Yeah, that is new. And, yeah, just having that whole thing going down. Just, um, it was just a really well done thing where just we see the main six and the Twilight, you know, having, you know, just dealing with the fact that, uh, She's going to be put in charge of the country real soon. Then being, okay, yeah, we've kind of jumped the gun and <laughs> probably shouldn't just throw you in like that. That was not our our bad. Yep. We'll just kind of lease you into it like we probably should have from the beginning. And don't forget that ending. Oh, yeah. That 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 ending with, with Twilight finally re- realizing the lesson that Discord was attempting badly to teach her. Yeah. And standing up and... <laughs> fight. Gotta fight. Yep. The, the walk for and... Just oh yeah, and the real, the really shots. actually taking the status quo and checking out the window with the whole yeah elements of harmony gone. Yep, like, that that was a big one. Tree dead. <laughs> of course, then we got we followed up by uprooted. <laughs> we witnessed a murder, sort of, sort of came back, <laughs> sort of. It got better. It's complicated. <laughs> yeah, so that yeah, so number four is that's why I put the summer sunset back. You put summer sun on, on way four. up there because. I just really like the interactions between the th- villain three. The villain, I, the, they're an amazing. I loved that so much. They just nailed that. I don't know what it was, but they just nailed those three just so well. Just you got three massive egos clashing into each other constantly, and just it results produces some amazing results. You, you they're, they're, they make a perfect disjointed family. Yeah. Sometimes a family is. <laughs> <laughs> A perfect disjointed family. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun. Plus, on that one, you also got the main six, you know, doing the whole thing. Is finally also, hey, Twilight's actually 
once again learned her lesson about you know not freaking out because they apparently they had to make her unlearn it so they can make her because that's all they knew was make twilight freak out for a while but whatever but yeah they made it so she's you know she's calm and she's able to handle things and showing that hey yeah she is ready to run a kingdom and also we got applejack's like i told (laughs) y'all i told you i told told y'all on the ground (laughs) yeah exactly that was and just it was just fun Uh, it was it was a lot of fun all of these episodes were, were a lot of fun. But for number four, I put The Last Crusade. Oh, yeah. I, was, I was wondering if he was going to get in top three or not. It, <laughs> it, was, it, was the, it was number two on my first list yeah, I know. for the first half. And it, it just worked so well. It was so emotional. Scootaloo is the best CMC. Don't at me. <laughs> it's sweet. Bill. No, it's not. <laughs> it's Scootaloo. Scootaloo is best CMC, and and watching that, it was very, so well written too. And I know a lot of people had their complaints, and we went all over them in the in the last episode when we talked about the first half. But it, it pushed all the right buttons for me. Yeah. Number three. Yes, number three. That's where I put frenemies. We both put frenemies at number three. Yeah, that's where I put number. I put that one with number one last time. So Same. Yeah. we both had we had the top. Yeah, possessed. So, frenemies is um again, it's the same thing. Just the mean, I guess not mean, but um, <sighs> not the mean six. Yeah, that's that a was... thing. But yeah, you got the enemies. Just the, the villains, just all really are really God. fun. This is the one where we really this saw is the first them. The one that they all worked really, together, well, and we they established that. Well, they were yeah, the worst when they're working together. That's the first time they were together at all. But yeah, it's this yeah. is a, it's like it's it's a, it's a villain focused episode where none of the main six appear at all. It's just a way different compared to everything else. And just it was it fun. Was. We had a really fun song too oh, it just, was it was amazing and then them come this close to realizing about <laughs> friendship and then bailing out when they nope. realized what they were doing <laughs> we, we literally have crystals going no <laughs> uh yeah it was it was an absolutely incredible episode watching them all work together it was the first one it's like seeing them all and it was like this is the perfect little family again <laughs> it's like you have the mom the dad and the daughter it's perfect yep. ah, it's a family that should stick together you could say it's set in stone even oh <laughs> uh, yeah it, it was an absolutely incredible incredible yeah. episode yeah so number and it deserves a top three so number two i'm starting to suspect we're our, our we, top we three might i'm wondering Number two is I put the ending of the end. We have the same f- top yeah. three. Okay, there we go. So let's let's just finish this. Yeah. So up. the ending of the end is number two, which means the last problem is number one. Duh. Yeah. Which last problem? That one yeah. was an easy decision. Yeah. I, I pretty much like once I saw it, it's like that's the first best yeah. episode of the series. It, it, un- un- unquestionable. Series, best season. But, uh, so let's begin ending yeah, of the, the end. The ending of the end is just like one of those things. Where it's like yeah, as a series finale it was like actually already a great in of itself because just oh, we yeah. had the whole thing where it's like you know we we, we see it's the main six focus twi- or Twilight being a large chunk of it. Um, Twilight's, you know, kind of, well, she's not freaking out. She have, she's, you know, doubt has been reintroduced into her life. A lot of the stuff she was so sure of. and She wasn't of panicking her, Twilight. Yeah, she actually thing. went into a depressive state. Yeah, she's more, more depressed. Expected. But we see that we kind of, we see, but she, you know, her friends are, are able to rail her, you know, bring her back and stuff. And, and not again, through some contrived method. And, the again, the, again, the villains were really good and just kind of oh, their man. little argument while also taking over a question and, you know, all well, the, all sorts of stuff about it was a lot of fun. And whatnot, and then finally the big mass, the biggest rainbow laser of them the all. Biggest rainbow laser, with the the three main rainbow groups, laser nine thousand. Yeah, the the three primary groups. We have yeah. the main six with their initial, and then student. then they had a bit from the the pillars and come the in, six. and then the student six, and then the rest of Equestria. And then Boom. The Equestria and all you know, all the other ponies and the yep. other creatures they met, and T- Tempest made a cameo, and so did Capper. Yep. Yep. And all this, all this. All these, yeah, all that's coming together, and just both Twilight making the ultimate friendship speech before, yeah, uh, yeah, defeating them and all that stuff, and just had a lot of fun. Yeah, it's got problems, I think, a couple of little problems here and there, and yeah, people have nitpicked about whole. People are still angry about the fact that you know Dick Grogar turned out to be a scored in the end. Oh god, yeah. People were expecting this huge epic battle between Twilight and Grogar, and that's not what happened. And apparently, no. there's a rumor going around Twilight was going to join the villains. What? Yeah. What? That she's going to join the villains or something. Or what? either A, like they're going to have to save Twilight from herself or B, is some sort of weird 
ploy. What, are they going to have Twilight walk up and go, Hail Hydra? <laughs> no, no, not like that. But like, she was going to be No, convinced. we have to say that for the comics, right? right? But <laughs> it's like some sort of weird thing, which as it was a rumor going around, apparently that wound up being completely wrong. But hey. Thankfully, that would have just been, what? Yeah, so that was that. And you know that episode was just that was you know yeah it was just it was great and he had a couple little problems but it was it a really was, well well done really way well. to wrap we up did this, get an the epic story fight. of the season yeah, we did get a big fight with the other three villains yeah at least. we so, did it was a pretty good fight too it was and we see all of them working together it wasn't like we got this together I mean, see see again we'll reference season four because there was a little bit of, of uh, kind of a dual dualism there yeah. between the season four finale and this finale is primarily you know twilight Tyrek. <laughs> yeah so there was a little bit there the epic fight between Tyrek and twilight now we got this epic fight where it's Tyrek and the other two plus the main six and others and they're all fighting that whole mm-hmm. scene where they're trying to they're working together to, to get the bell away and it was very well done mm-hmm. it, it was an absolutely incredible season finale <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah wrapped up that season pretty well except for it that did. one last little thing which was in the last problem which is the last problem yeah which is you know covers both the future and twilight's coronation yep the the end of it all the real ending of the yeah. end yeah it's just yeah it was that was as we said we and i still came by which is more or less it is the perfect episode it it, <laughs> it was is, a perfect way to end it and it was there was no way it was going to be anything but number one yeah it, it, was it just, had to the, the minute that the credits rolled it was just I knew it really, was going to be on the top. really good. Um, just a real good way to send it off with a really nice, really tear jerking song and all oh, that stuff. God, it's still every time I hear, I see those scenes and I hear those songs and that little bit of the, of the opening theme and the piano at the end of the song. Yep, you can feel it. It, the tears don't happen, but the pain is still there. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's a really well done way. Is it like like you said, the perfect way to end the series? And I think, I. Yeah, it's just there was no way it was not going to be anything but number one, just because I just yeah. I can't really find any real fault with it, despite other people claiming that there's fault. Just because I think there's one you might add, you know, in the in the very end when when they're all dancing and showing all the characters in the background, oh, yeah. Brad shows up. Yeah, that's <laughs> Flash Sentry is there. Sunset's there, there but Sunset's so is Flash Sentry. Flash Sentry is dead. The Pony Flash Sentry. So the one he that didn't actually have afterwards. any effect. He's dead, as far as I'm concerned. There's nothing that proves me other wrong. <laughs> You can't use that logic. Yes, I can. There's nothing proving he's alive. <laughs> so I can say he's dead and that's it. Uh, the one thing I remember one complaint, funny enough, the uh, about the end credits thing. Apparently they were planning on doing a special yeah, one. And I then heard, Hasbro, and said, Hasbro no. said no. I'm like, uh, I, I, I want to find hear who, it. I want to find who at Hasbro. Because yeah, they said they wrote it and everything. They wrote yeah, the music and the everything. The question is, I want to find prefer- who, did name, name, who at Hasbro was making these bad decisions? <laughs> yeah. My question is, they wrote a special song. But did they actually record it? Yeah. If they recorded it, that means it exists somewhere. If they didn't record it, they wrote it, which means you should release the music. <laughs> it, so someone else can record it. Exactly. Because <laughs> uh, I, I I, really want another a, a different ending song. Mm, it's just really rather do. than, my. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like this, that, this just totally just broke it. For, oh, for, it's like, eh, okay. All right. Want yeah. something special. Something special. Make it special. Oh, that's a Fuzo. Oh, so. well. <laughs> so, yeah. That's our list. It was, yep. it was a, I don't think it's going to surprise anyone who put the last problem number I, one. Oh, yeah. You just look at the EQD poll going on right now about best episode of season nine. Because they last do they have the poll. Yeah, last problem is overwhelm. Last I checked, it was overwhelming. Not surprising. It's like... <laughs> few results. Let's look at this. Uh yeah, we have eleven eleven hundred on last problem, and then four hundred and sixty to the ending of the end, which is number two. Yeah, that that's the split. Yeah, <laughs> going so. to see got thirteen votes. <laughs> 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 so did uprooted. Ooh, ooh, uprooted okay. got thirteen votes. <laughs> yeah, but, but the yeah. fact that let's see, I'm trying to remember what was it. General populace does seem. To, to agree. The fact that there are 38 people who think student council is the best one worries me. <laughs> That's nothing. <laughs> That's 30, nothing. Should be zero. 
<laughs> Remember, it's only asking the best, so it doesn't really... If you were to have people rank them like we did, you'd see a very different setup. I know, but I'm saying <laughs> the 38 people said that yes, the Student I know. Council was the best episode. is like, <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> you cray cray. <sighs> so, there's the list. We got through it. How long did that take? Well, we're over an hour. So, yeah, we should probably start wrapping up because we are actually past time. Yeah. <laughs> we, are, we are a little over time, little but we do. will do a one little... We're going to skip most of the fan content, but we do want one little Again. update. So, yeah, we don't have time to do a full fan content yeah. thing. Yeah, the one little quick update. Apparently, one castle, two alicorns randomly updated with a new uh, chapter, which even though it was finished, because uh, they decided, ah, they have to the say, hey, we're gonna, I'm going to write one more chapter once the series is over. I and think the author note said that they were planning on it, but didn't want to until after yeah, the finale, because they didn't want to take take away from it or whatnot. Yeah, so they wrote one last chapter, which is, well, takes place when... Uh, after the end, oh, yeah, after, after the, the, the ending, last problem, when we were at that point, at, yep. it's the future and everything. Twilight meets up with Midnight, yep, who is not like Twilight because she's still small and actually going gray, yep, and all, and just kind of that one last little thing, yep. Yeah, it has a couple little surprises. I wasn't super. I personally wasn't super thrilled with the stealth flashlight, but yeah, fine, whatever, whatever. It doesn't ruin the story because not really Twilight. So yeah. Yeah. So yes, that's it. That's our episode. If you liked what you heard, and I hope you did, you can find all of our episodes, past, future, present, at pony411.libsyn.com. Remember that's L I B S Y N. So go there, find everything. We also there's also an RSS feed if you actually use those still. Uh, you can also find us on various other places like iTunes, Google Play, and Stitcher. Just go to any of those places like Stitcher.com and search for us. For Pony411, you'll find us on Google Play. You have to go to play.google.com slash music before you can search, and then you'll find us. We are also on YouTube, youtube.com slash Pony411. So subscribe to us and click the bell to get notifications when new episodes do go up. And make sure to comment on the videos and let us know what you thought and like them so that we know you liked them. You can also find us on Ponyville Live. It'll update automatically when the YouTube version so goes up. So you, if you use Ponyville Live, you can find us amongst all their other shows. And we also air on Ponyville FM every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. So tune in then. While we are on bi-weekly, we'll have reruns every other week. So if you miss us one week, you might be able to catch us next week. <laughs> but yes, we'll Things air might there. be a little complicated over the next Things couple might, weeks. Yeah, though. it's a little complicated. But tune in anyway at any other time because it's a great place to find fandom music and live DJs and such like that. It's a cool place. Go check them out. If you would like to get a hold of us, you can email us. We are pony411podcast at gmail.com. So send us comments, criticisms, suggestions. If you want us to talk about something, send it our way. We will take a look. No guarantee. But we will take a look. If you just want to say hi or tell us what you thought, that's also a good thing to use email for. We're also on Facebook, facebook.com slash pony411. Go like our page there. We'll post updates when it happens. You can message us there too, I guess. It's a thing that Facebook does. We are also on Twitter, at pony411. Follow us there. Tweet us. It's probably the best way to quickly say hi or whatnot or send us little messages and whatnot there. It's Twitter. Hope you know how that works. You can also follow our personal accounts on Twitter. I am at Alcatraz with a 7 instead of a T and an underscore at the end, and they are at Nemesis Prime 1. So go follow us there, see us tweet stuff, whatever we happen to tweet, like our thoughts about the season and the ending of the series, our big tweet threads. Mm -hmm. (laughs) 11 tweets is mine. I have a lot of opinions, I just have difficulty putting them into text. What have you been tweeting? Mostly, um, what have I been tweeting? <laughs> what have you been tweeting? <laughs> well, beyond that, I know you had your tweet your, thread. Oh, your tweet weird thread. complaints about uh, G1. Oh, yeah, Menasaur, Transformers stuff. Yeah, Transformers reviews, complaints about G1 Menasaur cartoon design kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah, that much whole, I'm not having been tweeting a whole lot, but maybe on so, that. Yeah. If you want your daily Transformers information, or not quite daily, but you can follow them. Yep. So, yes, that brings us to the end of this episode. Hope you liked what you heard. I hope you tune in the next two weeks, because we are bi-weekly. Or no, maybe. Yeah, things are going to get weird. We might be going ahead because a Quest Your Girls special comes out next week. Right, so look towards that one, see if that one comes out next week. If not, then two weeks. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But the next one, we will be talking about Holidays Unwrapped. Yep. 
because that's a thing. Yep. I think it's going to be like the last big Equestria Girls thing. It too. is the last Equestria Girls thing. So, yeah. And last little thing, closing down. Hope you tune in for that when it happens. But until then, remember, please, pony responsibly. See ya. Bye. Bye.